Happy Thanksgiving! Oh my God. <laughs> you surprised? Yeah. <laughs> uh, she kept texting and calling and texting and calling. I'm like, this poor guy can't sleep. Happy Thanksgiving, Pete. <laughs> Go bring her outside. Tell her something's wrong. <laughs> to come out here and I didn't want to, you know. How did you do that? Yeah, I thought no. you were coming out in August. Yeah, yeah. something like that. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> and you knew. <laughs> right. Oh Come pick me up. Get Julia out of the shower. Is she out? Oh. Get him. Or mom, mom. Oh my god. Daddy got me Mina. a toy. <laughs> oh, <my> goodness. <laughs> And tonight, a holiday homecoming that we just had to bring you. Little Kensley Penny of North Carolina had only two things on her list for Santa. The three-year-old wanted a blue truck and her daddy, who's been serving in Afghanistan since March. And even though Christmas is still weeks away, her wish has just come true. Kensley's dad, Sergeant Scott Penny, will be able to spend 18 days with his family. Assembly day at East Rochester School is always a good day, but for fourth grader Adrian Hebert and her little sister Emily in kindergarten, they have no idea just how special it's about to become. And here's why. In a nearby classroom, Gunnery Sergeant Donnie Hebert is just home from Afghanistan. He wasn't supposed to return until April, and he's about to see his daughters for the first time in months. Any nerves? Well, you always have nerves. 
you know, you don't know which way they're going to react. Well, let's see, shall we? First, Adrian sees a welcome home banner. Initially, there's confusion. But when she sees her dad for the first time in a long time, it all gives way to this. We have a very, very special guest today. Emily breaks from the pack first. Hi, baby. And then seconds later, the Hebert family is whole again. How you doing, baby? And daddy, too. Muffled sobs into the chest of this Marine say it all. Although after the reunion, the girls gave it their best shot. What kind of day was this for you? Very special and loved. Loving day. What did you think when you saw daddy? Very happy. For mom Jamie, it was a tough secret to keep. But with this kind of reaction, it was all worth it. Just seeing them run up, it just waterworks. Oh, man, what a feeling, huh? It is. You really can't explain it. And you don't have to, Marine, as your little girls explained it for us. In Rochester, Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9. South Carolina graduate, class of 99. I'd like to give a shout out to all you Gamecock fans across the globe, the University of South Carolina for this opportunity, and a special shout out to my family. My wife Jennifer, my daughter Janiya, and my sons Jalen, Jackson, and Jacoby. Jennifer, I can't express how much and how important you are to me and how much you've sacrificed for our entire family. You are the fixed point of our family. And I want all the 80,000 fans in williams Bryce Stadium to know this, how much you are loved and how much you are adored. I appreciate everything you do. Kids, Dad is very proud of you. And I'm proud of all that you've accomplished and how much you've grown since I've been away. And I can't wait to be with you real soon. You guys take care of each other, love one another, and look out for each other. Oh, yeah. Go Gamecocks. <laughs> Coming Saturday here at Williams Price. Please welcome Cocky Special Homecoming guest, Captain Julius Carmichael the third. Let's hear it one more time for Captain Carmichael and his family, our Columbia Metropolitan Airport military. Get over. Hey. Hold us on that. Oh, we're hiding Patsy. Hold us on that.
place to stay out here. Watch for the show, okay? You tell me when it starts. Thank you. 